Okay, so 11 days ago, I dropped the video um, on everything you would need to know about WWE 2K24, basically as soon as it was announced, and we looked at 2K's features, like their features menu when they announced the game on their official website, and I eventually came to the conclusion that uh, even though a lot of the things they were adding to Backstage Brawl and some of the new match types were welcome additions, I felt as though this year's offering um, was going to be a bit mid. Um, since then, however, in those 11 days since, we have basically gotten more information and also some looks at the gameplay. So, um, we won't be talking about My Rise and Universe Mode, etc. My opinions on those still stand. If you want to go watch that video, um, it's linked in the description below. We're going to be talking about uh, the gameplay of like the ambulance matches and the backstage brawls. They've added some new things to them. Backstage brawl, uh, there's this elevator thing apparently. Looks really, really cool. Uh, I say apparently. Um, literally, like I've seen it. Uh, it looks really cool. The ambulance matches and the coffin matches, the buried alive matches, essentially seem to be, um, well not buried alive, but casket matches, seem to be following more or less the same kind of gameplay loop, which uh, is would be a little bit a bit disappointing but they are very similar in concept you know you get this person inside object and shut it on them and then it's over and there seems to be like a little mini game i'm not sure if there's a mini game for the casket matches but for the ambulance matches it's just, it essentially plays like a submission mini game um whether or not you win or lose the ambulance match but um one thing i definitely want to do is um uh, want to talk about is the back and forth punches seen that so like real matches you know when one superstar punches and the crowd goes yeah and when the other one does it they go boo like that is now in the game so that's going to be really cool to experience I'm kind of curious to see how it will affect the gameplay too much because I remember chain wrestling in 2k15 when that was added um it really slowed down the game. It wasn't very good. 2K16 had it as well, but I felt it worked a lot better. Um, and then 2K17 had it even less. And by the time it got to 18, it was all gone. So I'm curious to see how this is going to work out because there's a strong chance that by the time we get to 2K26, it could be gotten rid of. So uh, we'll see how that works. Um, one thing I definitely want to talk about is the super finishes so if you get all three finisher slots essentially um you get this super finisher which is really really cool again we'll have to see how that works because if it's one of those things where the match doesn't end straight away then it's going to be a bit meh you know like who cares um you know so hopefully it's something where Either the match ends straight away or it gets really close to ending straight away. Um, it's really cool though. I, I'd like to see how the AI works for universe mode uh, when it comes to super finishes and whether or not they actually want to do it themselves. Because it, it could really make matches a lot longer, which is definitely uh, an issue um, in past universe modes that I've played personally where the matches just haven't been long enough and they've ended way too quickly um, we'll just see, we'll just see I wonder how it's gonna work against the AI as well uh, you know when we play against them uh, really cool but yeah um, the visuals are a bit uh, um, so there was a screenshot of Bailey that came out uh, not a screenshot 2k actually posted it posted it themselves it looked rough like hopefully it's from a early build but how much can we really give that early build thing like the benefit of the doubt because the game's almost out you know surely they've got to fix that fast bailey herself commented on it like it was bad uh, and i don't know what it is with these wwe 2k games but they just cannot seem to get hair right i don't know what it is but they definitely need a new engine for sure. Like, they are working on the same engine from 2K15, pretty much. And I've just been pushing out reiterations of the same engine every year. That's why 2K20 was really bad, because they didn't have the 2K19 iteration of the engine. They had the 18 version, and the 18 version was rough. Uh, if you guys remember me playing that game, hated it. 
uh, there were some bugs hidden in that 2K18 game, and once you played for long periods, they really showed, and 2K20, obviously, was a more extreme version of what 2K18 basically was. Um, that version of the engine just wasn't very good. I mean, they tried putting it on the Switch as well, and that was, that was a bit rough. Um, but yeah, hair still looks a bit odd, unfortunately. Um, but I usually make, make characters that have shorter hair anyway. Even with my female character, as you can see from my current gameplay, uh, I have shorter hair on her. So I, I don't mind it on a personal level right now in terms of my like my rise for example but in terms of like there there are people that really want to play these matches with female characters um with their universe mode and stuff and i can understand how it'd be a bit off-putting it's been an issue for a while i don't remember it being too much of an issue with the ukes games it just seems to be a visual concepts thing you know i think ukes had it sometimes where the hair was a bit off but it, it literally just seems like a visual concepts thing it has been an issue since 2k20 we are now three games later and we still haven't fixed this issue that's not that's not good at all um, but yeah, we've not seen much on my rise, my GM. I assume my rise will be more or less the same as 2K23, which I'm not going to mind too much. But like I said in my previous video, I do definitely miss a my career. Uh, I miss a career mode. It like just bring it back as like a standard thing, you know. Bring it back how it was in 2K16 and 17, you know. It doesn't have to be anything major. Just do something, man. I don't want to have to be forced to play Universe Superstar mode to get that experience, you know? I don't want to have to keep going back to 2K16 and 17 to get that experience with inferior gameplay. Well, 2K16 it is, yeah, but 17's gameplay is really, really good, and that game looks great. So, I don't mind going back to that game, uh, but, you know, I want newer iterations, the newer stadiums, you know, stuff like that, but, yeah. Um, my announcement here, I have pre-ordered WWE 2K24. Um, the showcase mode here um, is actually apparently a little less elaborate. I don't know how the, um, how the last couple were because I didn't play showcase for 2K22 and 23. Just wasn't really interested in it. But uh, yeah, I have pre-ordered WWE 2K24. I am looking forward to the game very much. Um, and yeah, we just bring it back to the video's title. Am I wrong about WWE 2K24? Will it be mid or will it prove me wrong? Signs are pointing to it is kind of going to prove me wrong. You know, what matters to me the most is the content. The gameplay can be amazing, but if you're not offering enough content, then I don't really care. So we need to see more of my rise, my GM and showcase um we need to see more of that and universe mode you know um we need to just see more um even if it's little things like changing the menu layout i've seen the main menu uh for this game i can't seem to find a photo for it though um but um you know we'll see like uh, if you search for it or you may have seen it already who knows but it looks pretty similar to the 2k23 one and i actually quite prefer it over 2k23s um it seems a little it's got more of a rebellious vibe to it it sort of really suits Rhea Ripley to be honest uh, the vibe that it actually has I feel like 2k23 compared to 22's menu was like too clean too squeaky clean it was cool but you know either way it doesn't top 2k17's menus with the the black background the smoke on the ground and the superstars run uh, coming in and out of the shadows that is the best WWE menu for me that's just not going to be topped but yeah it looks okay it looks like it's going to be a good game so i'm looking forward to it but i really do need to see more of what the actual content is it's it's all fun and games having good gameplay but if you don't have enough content for me to play if the content is not good then quite frankly the game is not good in my eyes so yeah will i be wrong about wwe 2k24 will it be better than mid we'll find out but like i said signs are pointing to yes and that's all i've really got to ask for thanks for watching guys i'll see you soon peace